Hi, I'm Samantha Gassman with GI Jobs Magazine. I'm joined today by Beth Powers, franchise owner of Sinorama. How are you doing today, Beth? Good. I'm doing great. How are you? Doing great. Thanks so much for joining us today. Sure. So I had a couple questions for you. Uh, the first is we'd love to know more about your military background. Can you tell us about uh, which service you were in, how long you were in, and uh, some highlights from your career? Sure. I went to college on an ROTC scholarship. So I went into the military right after college and uh, I went into the army uh, and I was in the air defense artillery. So my role is my MOS was 14 echo. Um, and I was an officer, an air defense artillery officer stationed at Fort Bliss in Texas. Wow. And what was Fort Bliss like for you? Uh, honestly, it was a fantastic experience. Um, it's, you know, I, I'm from Michigan. It's super different there. It's a desert area. Um, mm -hmm. And at first we moved there and we were like, oh no, what did we do? But we <laughs> loved it. Uh, it was really great. And um, my whole four years, four and a half years there was, was really uh, a great experience. Wonderful. Uh, so when you went to transition, what was that experience like for you moving from military to civilian? Yeah, so um, I, I mean, I think it's a tough transition for most people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, the military was my first real job out of college, and it's definitely a way of life. It's so much more than just a job. And so when you transition out, it's always a little scary because uh, it's it's a big shift. Um, you were leaving, you know, we we're moving. So leaving the state and you're leaving the people, you know, and you're also leaving the culture. Um, and so it definitely takes some time to get used to. Mm -hmm. um, but I did find at least, you know, from a work perspective that the military prepared me so well uh, for civilian life, at least for responsibilities and duties and that kind of stuff. So what are some of the things that the military helped prepare you for in the civilian world? Because I know that job probably doesn't translate directly from the military no, to civilian you know, it's life. Not, yeah, the job itself directly, definitely not, right? right. You, um, I jumped into the corporate world. So you leave uh, you know, the military world um, and military life, and then you join, join, at least for me, the corporate world. And it's a, I mean, it's a lot of change, but the basic skills and the foundation that they give you is fantastic, right? Working mm -hmm. with people. Uh, you know, getting missions done, uh, putting goals together, um, you know, all of that stuff was completely applicable, um, mm -hmm. how to make good decisions, you know, um, I mean, all sorts of things, really. Yeah, absolutely. What would you say was the most challenging part of that transition for you? Um, honestly, the shift in culture was the hardest part. Um, you know, in the military, when you tell people to do stuff, uh, they either do it or they get in trouble. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and then, uh, you know, you, you, you work with employees and you tell them to do stuff and sometimes they do it and sometimes they don't. Right. So it's, um, it's a shift. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say the military is harsh, but it's, uh, it's tougher. Um, and so, you know, it's just a change And and in the military people, at least the people we work with, we had a great unit. We're very dedicated. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, you know, it was just, uh, it just, it just a big shift. You know, kind of getting used to everything and and transitioning your skills over to um, a new culture, a new mindset. Yeah, absolutely. Because you have other ways to hold people accountable in the military yeah. that aren't available to you in the civilian yeah, yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, can't I, make couldn't, them... I couldn't assign anybody extra duty if they came in late. Yeah, right. Was, exactly. Like, what are you? Wait, yeah. <laughs> so that, that took a little bit, a, a little minute. It took a minute. Yeah, it's more about the art of negotiation I found rather than, you know, this, you know, black and white, uh, you know, with yeah. threatening letters of reprimand and all of that stuff. So yeah. good times. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you moved into, you didn't go into franchise ownership right away. So how did your career lend itself to moving into this kind of role? So I had um, several different positions. Um, leadership jobs. Uh, I was an operations manager. I did some sales. Um, I moved into managing a region for a telecommunications company. And then eventually I worked for a startup, uh, another telecommunications company. And we built um, as part of building the company from scratch. And um, so all of that, I mean, the, the HR, the management, the business skills, the sales, um, it, you know, it all kind of lend itself into what we're doing now. So it sounds like you really cut your teeth on franchise ownership, even like entre entrepreneurship um, before you even started this um, franchise. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, unless you're a business owner and I always tell people like owning a business is kind of like having kids until you have <laughs> kids, 
<laughs> like you can talk about it, uh, but you don't really know what it's like until you have kids, just that level of responsibility and um, how hard, but also how rewarding it is. And I think owning your business, own business is the same way. Mm -hmm. So how did you get involved with Signorama? So we, um, I, you know, really, I, you know, I, I, I always say I kind of pushed my husband into this, to be honest. <laughs> um, and he used to always tell people, yeah, I'm leaving best dream. Um, but so we um, we decided we were going to own a business and we worked with a couple of different business brokers to decide what kind of business. Mm -hmm. um, I have an engineering degree. Um, he works in sales. And so we were pursuing all sorts of different things. Um, and one of the opportunities that was brought to us was for a sign company. Um, and initially I wasn't interested, but the more I dug into it, um, I realized it was something I could really get behind. Mm -hmm. um, so just, you know, what we make, uh, we get to make something which, you know, the engineering side of me just loves and the process driven loves that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a commercial, you know, business to business sale mostly because we weren't interested in any kind of retail. Um, we've, uh, we've got four kids, so we wanted something that worked with our family. Um, and so then once we decided that we wanted to have a sign company, uh, we really worked with, we interviewed all the different sign companies, um, franchises out there, because we recognized that having never been business owners before, that we needed some help and support um, and that a franchise would give us that help and support that we would need uh, because there's so much that we had never done before. Um, and we, when we met with Signorama, they really appealed to us because Signorama is a family-owned business. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been around for 30 years. Uh, they started their own sign and uh, companies and then turned it into a franchise. And when we met with them, we just really liked the feel um, that their corporate group gave us. Mm -hmm. And so when you started your, when you became a franchise owner, then what was the biggest shift between that corporate life and the franchise ownership? Oh my gosh. The biggest thing is that there's nobody else, right? It's you. Yep. Um, there's no IT department and HR department <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't know, cleaning service. Like, like it, you, you gotta figure it all out. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it really like, it's, it's super fun. Like, uh, I really do love it. Um, but it is, it is really, really hard. And, uh, there's a lot to grasp, especially the first year or two. Right. So we didn't know signage specifically, so we had to learn signs and materials and uh, applications and um, at the same time learning, you know, the, the software um, and then hiring employees and, you know, doing things like, uh, you know, like payroll uh, and invoicing, things that we had just never had to do before because in corporate America, you've got something that does that, right? Like that goes to the HR department or that goes to the payroll department. So putting it all together, um, I mean, it, it was hard. It sounds like you were pretty well suited for it, though, having come from the army, having those leadership yeah. skills, organizational skills. Do you think that the I veterans in particular so. um, will are more likely to be successful as franchise owners? You know, I really, really do. Um, and I think just the being process driven, um, having been part of an organization with SOPs, standard operating procedures, you know, helps you realize, like, if you don't have one that you need one. Yeah. Right. So um, I think, you know, just being part of a, a such a amazing organization that the military is, uh, you can come in and everything they've taught you, especially if you're in a leadership role, is going to lend itself to helping you be a better business owner and um, working through the challenges that are going to come in those first couple of years. Sure. So what advice would you give veterans who are looking at franchise ownership as a possible career path after they separate or retire? Um, I think that uh, if, if, if you think business ownership is for you, right? So if, if that's the right path for you, uh, that a franchise is a great option, especially, I mean, pick the right one. Not all franchises are created equal, mm -hmm. um, but it's gonna give you that support you need uh, to help you take on so much new um, stuff, right? All, all at the same time. So, um, but I, you know, again, I, I think, you, know, you take the right mindset with the right franchise and it's really a recipe for success. And it's an opportunity to grow and build something from scratch uh, on your own. And that is just so rewarding. Well, what's next for you? Um, well, we uh, started our franchise about four and a half years ago. And then two years ago, we purchased a second one, a second location. Um, and now we're building a building, we're moving our, our so we don't have to rent anymore. We're trying to own. And uh, so there's lots of great stuff for us. Our business has gone really well. And 
it's got a just amazing team of people that we've been super fortunate to find. So um, we're just going to keep growing it and see where it goes. Well, congratulations. Sounds like you've had a lot of success so far and I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. You're very welcome. Thanks again. I'm Samantha Gassman for GI Jobs Magazine and thanks for joining us today. See you next time.